Welcome everybody. Thanks for getting down and low with Level M today. Of course, we are talking low riders today. We are talking green light series four California low riders. One of the coolest series that they've done in a really, really long time. They are coming out with a couple of new castings in this mix. So a couple of powerhouse guys in there. And then of course, a couple of new ones for the mix. Card art has not changed. You can pick these up at Hobby Lobby. It's where I found majority of these. 1950 Mercury 8 Chop Top Convertible is how we're going to start it off. Uh, this is a new casting from Greenlight. Uh, there will be other versions of this casting. It won't just be for uh, lowriders. There will be other versions. You know, it's typical what Greenlight does. They are good with that. So we'll get this guy popped out of there. Get our blister out of the way. All kinds of plastic love. Get that guy slid out of there. So there is our Mercury 8. That looks pretty good. A little bit of pinstriping on it. Not, that's not something that's super, super detailed. It's actually uh, pretty low-key, to be honest with you. Lots of chrome. Details on the front look good. Kind of an interesting... Looks like there's... Look at that. Crud is on there. Good old green light quality, as always. Hopefully that will clean up. Hopefully that's not uh, glue or anything on there. But there is the side profile. You do have the tailpipes jumped off the bottom. That is a separate piece there on the bottom for the pipes out of both sides, which is an interesting addition. 2796 is the number why we are underneath here. Does have those wire wheels. Looks pretty good. And just solid chrome. It is pretty slammed to the ground. You can see the rear wheels are pretty, pretty low. Uh, convertible top. The convertible does not come off. Uh, it is glued on there. But uh, I'm sure you could... Uh, Figure out a way to get it off of there if you want it to be a true convertible. This one looks pretty good in blue. Some more pinstriping in the back. Some pretty good details. Some fine details in the pinstriping. Looks pretty good. Tail light details done up as well. Kind of a kind of a pretty cool model. I kind of like that one a lot. I think that works perfectly for low riders. That one's very, very nice. Sits super, super low. That one is quite quite the uh, looker for sure. I said that guy over there. All right, next one up. This one, also a new casting, 1947 Ford, Ford or, Ford or uh, Super Deluxe with some really, really nice mag wheels on there. Looking very, very good. So this is another new casting. They've uh, already done a couple different versions uh, for this casting. It's also going to come out in some uh, very uh, not lowrider style garb. It will be in uh, Battalion, uh, the Military Battalion. Italian 64 will be in series four, which will be pretty nice. So we'll get this guy slid out of there. Potentially, ooh, super, super tight in there. There we go. Get the plastic out of here. This one looks fantastic. I really do like this one a lot. This one was quite the looker sitting on the pegs. I think it looks really, really good with these mag wheels on there in chrome. Kind of a nice custom look on there. Looks very, very good. Full deets on the front. Looks Kind of looks like a shoebox in the front a little bit. Um, I'm not a I'm not a '50s Ford guy, so uh, don't 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 uh, don't attack me. But this one looks good. I like the two tone silver over red. There's the deets in the back. Prints look pretty good. Quality looks pretty good. You see there was a little bit of a scuff there on the side of here. Hopefully that will clean up. But uh, green light still struggling with quality as always. Silver is very very nice. Details on the other side. A little bit of print in front of the rear wheel. Looks good. The overall uh, details of this one looks really, really good. I think this one will be a popular casting for sure. There is the deets there on the bottom. Looks like uh, 4052 is the number. So pretty high number. Pretty high number for this guy, but that's all right. See, copyright 2023 green light. That one, you know, that one doesn't really strike me as a lowrider. That one strikes me more of a like a rod and custom kind of thing, hot rod and custom, but that's okay. All right, moving into the powerhouses, the ones that we have seen before. Uh, 1973 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. I absolutely love the Sedan DeVille and the uh, Coupe DeVille. Um, I think these are two of the most ridiculously cool castings that Greenlight's done in a really long time. Um, I really like the Tahoe. You guys know I love the Tahoe that Greenlight does, but that's not necessarily like a cool casting. Uh, but this one, on the other hand, is very, very, very cool. So we'll get some plastic out of here. We'll get our Cadillac slid out. 
This one looking absolutely fine in its metallic brown. Lots and lots of pinstriping on the side. Lots of details on there. Really like the details on the vinyl top. That looks super, super cool. Very, very cool details on there. There is your, uh, you know, your Dayton's, I guess. It's kind of hard to see the cross section in there, um, you know, for the for the the center hub piece, because um, it's all chrome, so it kind of just blends in there. But it looks it looks good. Um, and one thing I can tell you that looks really really good is the white wall tires. Usually they are very very far off. Um, these arms actually look really really good. More pinstriping on the top. Really good details there on the top as well. And see in the shine there. Always all that green light residue you almost have to take these cars out of the package and wipe them down uh every single time from green light there's just too much residue left over from them there is the deets in the back looks good got your cadillac symbol on there your sedan deville looks pretty good tail lights printed up chrome and stuff looks good i really like this casting a lot looks super super good it's uh it's kind of an ugly car um uh, but as a die cast the thing is super super cool Nice detail on the front. Got your Cadillac symbol in there as well. Base detail on this guy. 2304 is the number. Yes, it's done up for a trailer hitch. It has been in hitch and tow before. That is an absolute boat. Um, you can see how much bigger that is compared to that uh, Ford four-doored four -doored deluxe. All right. Can't have lowriders without a Impala, uh, especially an 80s Impala. This one, 1985 Chevy Impala in green. Kind of looks like a greeny, kind of green machine, but it's not. It's just the regular version. So this guy does not have the additional spare tire on the back. Uh, we did get the spare tire on the uh, Series 3, which is right there. Has a little spare tire addition on the back, which I thought was super cool. Let's get this guy out of here. Get the plastic out of here. Slide him out. This one looks especially nice. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, the wheels are fantastic. The wheels look so good. And look at the white wall tires. They are like perfect. They are so well printed on this one. And I think that it's super important because it's very, very thick white wall print. And it looks fantastic. This is like a deep uh, emerald green, which looks just absolutely unbelievable. The color is just great. The color looks so good. There is a little bit of gold pinstriping down the side. So you really got to get in there to see that pinstriping. I think that that looks fantastic. There is the details on the back. Of course, it does say Chevrolet on the other side. Got your triple tail lights on there. And of course, you got your quad stacked headlights. Looking very, very good. The grill looks good. Got your bow tie up in there. Very, very nice details on this one. Flip this guy around. 4633 is the base Deets. So pretty high numbers on these. Definitely not low numbers, but this is from mass retail. You know, usually the uh, hobby retails get uh, lower numbers because they usually get shipped first. I mean, look at the white walls. They look, they're not perfect, obviously, but they look really good. That's something that's very, very rare from Greenlight these days. All right, speaking of Impalas, we do have a couple more here. This one, the Biscayne, it's basically an Impala. Um, there are some changes. It's it's not exactly an Impala, but they're built on the same platform. 1964 Biscayne does, of course, have your uh, B-pillar post in there, which, of course, the Impala does not. So, cool little details in there. Green light's pretty good at doing those things. This one, just in uh, kind of black. I'm not sure if this one has pinstriping or not on it, but I hope it does, because um, I think that might help a little bit. But it's also nice to get just some regular, regular versions Again, you see all that residue on there. Look at the windshield. just looks terrible, but it does clean up relatively well. I think if you actually took some, uh, like, uh, kind of a solvent-based cleaner, just a kind of a diluted one to clean up all that residue from the super glue, I think it'd look absolutely nice. This one's got some Kragers on there, which is pretty nice. Um, definitely not something I expected to see. It does say Biscayne there on the back. Get that to focus a little bit. Super small print. Let me force it in there. It does say Biscayne. This looks pretty good. So I'm silver striping along the side. Red interior for this guy. That is a plastic top. So they use the same basic uh, casting for a bunch of different versions. There is the headlight detail on the front. Looks fantastic. Prints look good. 
It says Chevrolet there in the grill. Really, really, really nice. This one's really, really nice. Deets in the back, of course, this does just have two tail lights in the back versus the Impala that has the uh, triple stacks. It says Chevrolet in there. This one's really good. The quality of prints are really good. Uh, this guy also happens to have an opening hood, which opens up nice and big. Just a regular orange block down in there with a silver painted air cleaner. Uh, nothing fancy doing with that one, but that one still looks pretty good. So, base deets here, $29.39, another pretty high number. So, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get any low numbers. But uh, that one looks really good. That one's just kind of a, like a regular low cruiser, kind of like something you'd see in somebody's garage. Definitely not a, uh, not a, a trailer queen for sure. However, this one, the very last one in the mix, that one probably would be a trailer queen. 1963 Chevy Impala SS. This one in kind of a uh, yellow and gold mustard over red. Um, this one might be the best of the bunch. Um, I'm not sure, but I think this one might be the best of the bunch. Again, the Impalas always never, ever fail. They tend to be the uh, stunners. Um, you see all these past ones they've done here. Those are the two... Uh, you know, recent uh, hobby exclusives they've done. And, of course, there's a pink rose there at the bottom. So a couple of uh, heavy hitters there in the back representing. Take a look at the pinstripe first. I mean, the, the detail is insane. The prints look absolutely fantastic. They line up panel to panel. I mean, Greenlight definitely puts a lot more effort into their prints with these, green, these um, lowriders, and I appreciate that because... If you don't get the pinstriping right, they just, they're not going to look right. Oops, sorry about that. There is the deets on the side. Looks fantastic. Prints down the side look good. Does say Impala there at the bottom. Looks very, very nice. I love the red wheels. The red Daytons look fantastic. Silver hub there. It's a perfect example to see that hub. That was the same wheel as the Cadillac. You just couldn't see the hub. But uh, again, those white walls just really, really good with their prints. Really digging it a lot. There is deets in the front. It's a little bit different than the Biscayne, obviously. Not exactly the same car, but they are pretty pretty dang close. Some different bodywork in the back. There is your triple stacked taillights. Looks good. A lot of silver print on there as well. Really like those details. Red interior looks good on this one. Kind of want to call this one like the Phoenix. There is the details underneath the hood. Again, just an orange block, silver painted air cleaner, just like the other, but it does have a painted engine bay. We definitely love that detail. The hood on this one does not stay up at all. At all, 100%. But that is okay. Looks good. Base deets 24, 33 is the number here. So they are all uh, pretty much uh, middle of the road run uh, between all of them. But uh, not too shabby, not too shabby. That is... Greenlight Loratus Series Number Four. Uh, they've already announced Series Number Five. Obviously, there's no sense in doing anything with this line other than just keeping it going. But uh, I know Loratus are heating up, and I know you guys will probably dig this stuff. I dig them too. I absolutely love them, and uh, Greenlight representing very, very well. So drop a comment. Let me know what you think about them Loratus. Of course, you got to get lower than the video. You got comments, and uh, we're gonna appreciate every single one of you guys for dropping one. Definitely appreciate you for watching. Level them die cast saying, peace.